All right, welcome back, fans and friends, for this upcoming video. I have a 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Badlands, and this is from the Shoreham Floor Series 1 from Greenlight. You can see there, and this is a relatively new series. It's done a little bit differently than their normal. Uh, well, just we'll just cover it first, and I'll just talk a little bit more about it. You have three of the vehicles here that are in this series, so the Corvette obviously these two are the same but this is done in the black bandit type all the same color and then you have a jeep gladiator so that's a ford bronco and so what i mean by that is the showroom floor obviously it's a series one so this is the first release and as you can see there in the top right the vintage and modern car dealership models with the original monroney stickers showing msrp miles per gallon annual fuel cost vehicle features and other official information about the vehicles from yesteryear and today so here are the six vehicles so they've kind of done basically the hollywood system plus their normal system listing all the vehicles in the series plus the car tag itself which is right there and then you have the greenlight collectibles we have 139.22 so this year and then we have the 14562 wb uh, series 1, obviously, we all know that. Die cast vehicle, limited edition, 164, 14 plus, Firestone tires, Ram, and Jeep, which are a brand of FCA, and Ford and GM, because they do list. We'll just quickly go over the Ford Bronco Sport Badlands, which is this one, the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, the 2022 Ram 3500 Limited Longhorn, a Chevrolet Corvette Convertible, and the Chevrolet Tahoe RST and the Ford Explorer. So I saw, I didn't see the Corvette, all the other ones were there on the shelf, but just the Corvette was not. So I did not want the Ram, plus the Ram, it said, uh, had me on the side of it, but on the sticker tag, if, if you're really a sticker about the information, because this is actually very good for showing. Uh, if it's left in the package, I will not be leaving it in the package, but look at it like the dealership experience, I guess, in $10 format with a very little commitment. And so here we have the 2021 Badlands 4x4. And we have there the manufacturer's code. We have pretty much a lot of the stuff here. And what's it, obviously you cannot tell if any of this goes into that, but it's more or less advertising, free advertising for Ford and GM and all these other companies. Because this is a relatively new model, as we can see, they are all 2022s. So this is actually the first sport type Bronco I'll be taking out of the package. And we will see a similarity there, where this Badlands is extremely similar to the uh, Badlands from this. This is the other type of Bronco, as people who have, know about the brand, when it was, sorry, the model when it was revived, this was, there's two distinct versions. There's this version, which is the Jeep competitor. And then there is this, the sport version, which is the pavement princess type uh, Honda CRV, RAV4, and compete with uh, like the, not the Tejo, Tejo is a little bit bigger, but uh, it's similar to the Ford Explorer. So just gonna go ahead and take it out of its package. And the other two vehicles that I've done here, which are Ford Bron I've done a bunch of Ford Broncos, but these new Ford Broncos, those are the other two that I've done. Uh, they are, like I said, the off-road type. Now, another thing I'm going to talk about, too, is those two you see on screen there, not the cat. He's not off-road. But these two, uh, they are clearly meant for as utility vehicles, as you can see there, specifically with these ones, they have the trailer hitches. So if that's important to you in collecting it, probably not taking it out of its package, but why that's important is this sport here, as I just get it out of its package, it has, so not just the wheels rattling. I was afraid that there was something else rattling, but there is a spot. So I guess we will start with the bottom of the vehicle. There is a spot for the trailer hitch, just this one does not physically come with it. If you have one of those aftermarkets, you can just glue it in right there. So GL196 2022 Ford Bronco Sport. It doesn't say Badlands, which is, I don't know why Greenlight keeps doing this, but as I said before, this is the Badlands symbol. Uh, there's no way for me to make it bigger. I have a magnifying glass, but sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work out. 
it is the Badlands symbol. Just trust me on that. So it is basically the second to the, sorry, I think it's the highest tr trim. The wild track is the most base trim. So moving from the bottom of it, it's, it's very plain. Uh, you can see all the important bits there. We have no, there's the muffler set mounted in the center. Or is that the transmission? Yeah, I don't see. It's right there. So on either side of where the trailer hitch would go. Okay. So it's just moving from that. We will go to the front of the vehicle. Everything looks nice and even. Usually, actually, with these Ford Broncos, I've had very good success, even with the older ones. Uh, even with this one, uh, I just bring it up again with the windshields. You can clearly see in side of the vehicle right there. You can see the cat in the background there. The back windows are a little bit tinted. So there is a sunroof on this one. And if it's important, we can actually look for the sunroof feature on the back. If you get it, you, you can obviously be able to do it yourselves. But you will be able to see stuff like... Uh, act. So where are we looking for? Yeah, anyway, it's the sunroof. It'll be under... I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so anyway. It's one of the features on the car. Uh, I'll take a look at it afterwards. But So we'll just go over this vehicle itself. I think that's a me fingerprint. It doesn't appear to be a production fingerprint. I will wipe it off after. Two-piece roof. So that's, I believe, a first for the green lights. And I've covered it now by now. As you can see, I'm just wiping off the fingerprints. There's the Badlands again. The door handle is nice and even. There is a little bit of a mark here on the wheel. So green, but, and here's a gap. We can all see the gap there. Hopefully it rolls. That's what's important to me. Everything else is just imprints and painted over. There is a bit of a defect on this side, if we can see the stamping. And I don't see it on this side. So that's just the Bronco. Otherwise, Bronco, it says Sport, clearly there. There's the Ford symbol. The handle. Yeah, you see how I... I do believe that that is a production defect where it is not quite stamped in there. Anyway, I can't see it from the... Uh, when it was inside the package. So here we are. That's how it is. So a rare Ford, but it is a different mold, I believe. And now how we can do that is we can just check it. So this is GL195, and this is GL196. So they're very close to each other, but that does, to me, look like a 95. And we'll just check the other one. Yeah, you can see it's 195. And it, this here is 196, clearly 196. So... It is a different, slightly different mold that they're using. So I'm hoping that not all of them will have that, but who knows. So moving on to the other side, just the side with the gas cap, that's the only major difference. Both of them have the Badlands, both of them have the... There is nothing printed on, no letters or anything like that on that side of the car there. So ju just more or less, it is the regular everyday driving type of uh, SUV rather than the uh, let's go have fun in the wilderness SUV which is these type of Ford Broncos. I do like the coloring and the mirrors more or less look okay. It's sort of unevenly painted but it's not serious. Like as a showroom piece like I said if it's going to remain in the package you're not going to see. So like I said I've, we've had a bunch of success with those other Broncos. This is more or less okay. It's not perfect. It rolls. I can't complain there if it's going to roll. I mean, it already passes the mark there. So, I guess that's all there is to cover. There is the limited edition number, 4972. I don't remember covering it earlier, but it is on here. And it, for once, it's printed in larger numbers. A couple of the previous green lights, they printed it in the smallest printing possible, and it did not come out perfectly. Unfortunately, I can't tell if this is see-through or just a piece of plastic because I can't stick something shiny through the windows because it's all sealed up. So I'm just going to bring this video to an end. This is the first Ford Bronco Sport I've covered. The other four that I've covered were 1992, uh, the previous gener two generations of Bronco. These are the other, like I said, 
it, this sort of Jeep competition, while it's this uh, suburban competition for uh, SUVs. So, this is Thomas from Toronto bringing to you the 2022 Ford Bronco Sport Badlands from Greenlight's Showroom Floor Series. Thanks for watching, and till the next one.